Hello friends and uh, welcome. As I promised you the last time, in this episode we will talk about another Chinese fountain pen. It is a relatively old fountain pen from the 1980s and um, this was in a drawer I found it recently. Although it hasn't all the parts and I will show that um, to you. I think it is a rather nice product from China. It has a certain quality to it. Uh, last time I promised you that um, I will compare it with the Hero 330, which was a school fountain pen. You can see that both of, the, of the, those fountain pens have a barrel made out of plastic. In the Golden Star it is a black one and this is a burgundy red one. You can see that the Golden Star is slightly more longer than the 330 model. And it has this interesting gold band at the end of the barrel so it gives it some elegance. The caps are both made from metal. It is incredible light uh, metal. You can see the wear on the Hero model. On the Golden Star it's in a relative uh, good condition. This model of Golden Star has also this uh, pattern, this um, line pattern. We can see at the end of the cap imprinted Golden Star and it has a star which is present also on the on the logo of the golden star we have this beautiful clip at the end of the clip we have another small imprint and the plain um, top of the cap the back of the barrel is simply black Golden Star was founded in uh, the company Golden Star was founded in um, Shanghai in 1932 by two Korean brothers and um, it had uh, an interesting logo with the star. In uh, 1952 they opened a branch in Peking, China the capital now, Beijing, and they produce the Golden Star brand um, in uh, Beijing. Unfortunately, in 1999, it was bought by uh, the company Hero, by this company, because it had some um, financial difficulties. So this is the irony of the world we are living in. A much more qualitative brand is bought by a cheaper qualitative brand, but this brand had more money. So it is what it is. These are the two models. The, um, they both have a friction cap. So this one has a, also a friction cap. We can see this beautiful, beautiful ink window on the Golden Star. And it's quite a nice window. It has this beautiful gold-plated band and you can see it didn't lose its plating over time. The barrel unscrews and it reveals the classical aerometric type converter which was common on all Chinese uh, models from that period. It was copied from the Parker 51 model. We, had, uh, we have these interesting uh, Chinese characters, but um, what interests us the most, we can see made in Peking, China. And um, on the lever, we have imprinted 102. So I believe this is the model of this fountain pen. It is operated by uh, this inner sac. 
unfortunately this model someone took um, the gold nib what a shame uh, you can see this beautiful design of the feed the feed remains in a good shape we can disassemble this product and see the beautiful ink window this is friction fit so it uh, leaves quite easy unfortunately you can see that uh, the metal element is uh, corroded inside we have this sack it is in um, good shape for its time I don't see any breaks any cracks any leak leakage it's good uh, this is the gold plated ring made in China I believe this was also an export model sometimes maybe I will um, have the chance to to buy only a gold nib if I can find it on eBay and try to restore this beautiful beautiful elegant model oh of course sorry I forgot uh, the metal part so yes this is the metal part and uh, when you insert it just push it unfortunately I don't have um, the nib of this fountain pen so I can't make a writing sample but I want to show it side by side this is the golden star this is the hero 330 I also have a lily 7 one eight model and the wing song 235 model these are the fountain pens these are the fountain pens side by side you can see that uh, they have similar dimensions maybe as a result of the standardization uh, of um, the Chinese fountain pen industry I will leave on the screen the measurements of the golden star fountain pen I um, I want to apologize because um, it is not a complete fountain pen but uh, it is a nice fountain pen from the Chinese uh, industry of fountain pens from the 80s and one of my personal favorites because it's um, it has some attention to details and you know that the attention to details reveals the quality of um, the fountain pens i have some interesting memories of uh, this type of fountain pens of course i couldn't afford this type of fountain pen but uh, this more cheaper fountain pen I used to write with it and um, I have some fun memories but I always preferred and I thought there were elegant the fountain pens which have uh, a complete nib so no semi hooded nib no hooded nib maybe this is one reason that um, I don't like the Parker 51 uh, yes it was an iconic fountain pen it was um, a nice fountain pen it, it sold by millions but I prefer the classic look of a pen that has um, visible nib this was my fountain pen review of the golden star 102 as always i wish you to have a nice day 
and thank you for watching